Hey guys, when it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Eddie, fill me in on what happened just now. Uh, so what was it? Yesterday or so, got this flat. It was nice and sh sunny too. But we were like, you know, we'll take care of it in the morning. Now it's raining, of course. And then the worst part, we go to take it off and it stops. And the reason why it stops is because these uh, studs are seized on there. You see that? And that little piece is broken off. There goes one of them. These two have coming off on the back of the stud, so now all it does is spin. Now we gotta get it over to a muffler shop so they can burn these things off. Because there's no way to get them off unless you burn them or you cut them. So now we have to, you know, say our prayers, go very slow in the, in the rain, hopefully nothing happens, and then get to work because we're really late. Hey. We're at the muffler shop and uh, we're about to invest in a blowtorch too, so we can do all this stuff. I just find it. Hey, he's cut though. I know it's, it's been a couple days old, but it's still clean though. Yeah, and make sure y'all go ahead. If y'all in the Dallas store, hit Kelly Rentals real quick. You know? Try to find it in a bottle, that's what every time I find that piece of mind is when I'm by myself. Oh, family, I thought was one of my babies. Seemed like everything was good for me, but still it wasn't. Times I felt alive that I can count less than a dozen. Plus, I got no friends and I hope it's one So, this is where we had to come from. Um, so, we didn't use any toll roads, nothing like that. So or highway, so this, this is basically what it looked like right here. That's how far we had to drive this thing. You see it's 32 minutes on there. We use no toll or no highways or anything like that so that we can get over here, so we can ride us over here. So, But it was really like 40, it took a while, but we did get over here. We got the landfill. We got to the first job. You guys seen it getting fixed. Eddie's doing his little thing thing. Going out by hand. Big things. You see the ram on deck. We're at the landfill. We're in Denton County right now. Now he's about to do a little pull off real quick. Out here. Good job right now. Sorry to film the other parts. We be working, it'd be hard to film and stuff. I don't know how people do it, to be honest. See Eddie right there. So we are at the last property right now. This property is in Skeet. Um, we're about to get these last couple trash cans up. We got three basically already cleared off by another one. Uh, and this one right here is, is one that um, when we pull up to the side, I'll show you guys, but this one's full. Um, stuff everywhere. Hey guys, so I'm headed down right now, me and Alex. Um, we headed down to Arlington. About to look at a, um, it's a clean out job. Should be a pretty good, big one. So all I've been told is that there's been an abandoned homeless community with a market hall and everything that needs to be cleared away. Um, so we're the first person coming to quote it. She has one more person coming to quote. Um, so I think we have a pretty good chance of winning this job. Today we're gonna show Alex kind of how we go through quoting some of the stuff. She's not gonna get it exactly. But <laughs> it's just because this is it's gonna take time, but this is gonna be a good experience for her. Um, right now, I don't know what that even is. Just, we're a little bit behind. Trailer, um, I throw a photo up. Just almost killed me. <laughs> Alex didn't even notice, but yeah. I heard it, but I didn't know. You know? No. 
I didn't know it was killing you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so trailer almost fell over and there's the big trailer almost fell and hit me. I'm at the photos right here, so you check that out. But yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting adventure right here. Um, I'm pretty psyched to see how big and how much stuff is here. Um, but I think it might be one of the one of the bigger jobs that we have done um, as well. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today. Then we got some make some sales and stuff. Um, Are we let's see. My yeah. Okay, y'all know Alex's password. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'll see you when we get there. Probably some good stuff in here yet, too. <laughs> got some ears. Yeah. Seems like the biggest thing we have, um, we have to really worry about is, is like, is the getting, because if it's all in one place, you know, it's easier to do all so Just getting to it, we have to do a lot of wheelbarrows. Yeah, that's the trickiest part right here. For everything. But it's not, I mean, There's been words played out. Yeah. tires. Guess who just showed up? He's on the other side of the street for a while. Got all these mosquitoes. Yeah, there's too. mosquitoes back here, yeah. There's a lot of them. Crazy. So we have all this stuff right here. You used to see me walk through it. Um, tons of mosquitoes back here. It goes all the way back that way, Eddie. Back back to that place over there. To this right here. Now all we gotta move. And there's some also some needles back here, she said. Needles? Yeah. Oh damn. Like so, so Huh? Yeah. So everybody needs to wear gloves because there might be some nice needles back here. You see them? Yeah. There's stuff over there. She said it's like needles over there somewhere and over somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Got some money for you. So we in Denny's right here. Um, Alex laughing. You seen the last clip. Hit a clip right here. Yeah. Hey guys, we at um, Wendy's right now. <laughs> I mean, Denny's. You know, it's funny. Now. I didn't realize what we were. It's my bad. It's early, so we just we just got finished. Um, went and the jobs. Alex's first time going out there and seeing everything. And she was, you seen she was in the mix. She got no boots on, anything. Stepping on glass. Yeah. Needles. Got you gotta get that work comps on everything. <laughs> Needles and stuff. But so we went out there. As you guys seen, it's a lot of stuff. I guess a lot of stuff. All right, so it was a basically a home, homeless abandoned town that was inside a church. The church um, originally only allowed one person to stay back there with a tent. That one person turned into way more than one person. They said it was five, but like it was 50 people living back there. I had a marketplace and everything. <laughs> and they have like, some reason they have a, a large amount of just trash for some reason. I don't know if there was collecting trash and throwing it away inside the own landfill, who knows. But we got to go back and clean that out. So we bet it, so we bet it that job around 525. Um, Eddie thinks we came a little high. I think we're going, for based on who I think we're competing with and how much work it is, I think we might be right there. If not, we'll be able to adjust our price down a little bit. We're going to do like, I think Eddie's saying, what are you saying, six-man team, Eddie? 
Yeah. Six-man team. And two drivers. Yeah. Eddie's behind, Eddie's on the cameras now. So if it's shaky, you know why <laughs> on that part. So Alex haven't made it onto the YouTube channel yet. Alex, introduce oh, yourself. This is my, okay. So, Hi, I'm Alex. Yeah, she's shy. <laughs> I don't know why, though. She's part I don't of, know what you, <laughs> I work at Kelly you. Rentals in the office. Sometimes I make deliveries. I don't get gas comps on those days. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, tell them about um, what you do. What you do um, like for fun? And stuff. What's your, what's well, your hobby? I'm an actress and a writer right now, and an artist. I'm working on illustrating my own books right now. Xavier's helping me with the social media end on that part. No, she works for free basically. When it comes down to it. No. <laughs> my time for her time. No. So I give her an hour for every 20 hours she put in. That's why my breakfast is paid for this morning. <laughs> yeah, it is not. And it comes out with interest, 20% until <laughs> payback. On breakfast? Yeah, but it's fine. No, but for real, um, so we, you see we just went through this job right now. Um, I think we're going to be able to get it, probably get it. If not, we're going to um, make a counter quote because we did tell the lady at the end of all jobs, we're always telling her, if someone comes with a better price, please let us know so we can be able to, um, you know, assess that, you know, and actually see if we want to go through and do that. But the biggest thing with this job right here is that, as you, as you can see, there's very narrow alleyways. It's hard to get there um, and actually get to the job. So we got to figure that out. That's going to take a lot of time. Eddie has another method. We're going to might rent a skid steer, which will be fun. Most likely will, actually, because it is fun, to be honest. Um, we're going to tear down a lot of those trees and put skid steers to drop stuff into the, um, the, the trailer stuff. Maybe it will go a little faster. But we'll see how that goes. Hey, guys. So we're about to um, make a farm table right now as well it is getting the pieces of wood we need four of these and this is for the cocktail tables those things are going to be heavy as, as is so i'm trying to think probably gonna get some toothpicks as the back end to hold everything together <laughs> it was the first step or what's the problem we had uh the problem i had was how i was going to build a frame but i think i'm just going to go with um, so the screws that I brought bought um, in my mind was originally going to lay it down flat, but we're going to go with this uh, up position because it's going to be better because uh, the, the legs that are going to be attachable and detachable, detachable on this, um, basically we're going to drill screws over here on the side. I mean, drill holes and then put, put uh, removable screws and nuts in here so you can take the, uh, the leg on and off as needed. Okay guys, um, we just um, finished up um, sanding the, uh, the tabletops on the uh, farm tables. We started off with 100 grit, and then uh, right now I just finished up with uh, 225, and then uh, we're gonna move into uh, staining the top and then putting the legs on. So guys, we got the shark legs on there. Table looking a little decent. No leg days. Why are we hitting no legs in here? Yeah. Yeah. We got legs over here. Don't look at mine though. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, we have to return these legs though. They wobble. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but it looks good though. Guys, we're about to do a lighting round with Eddie real quick. 
five questions real quick so I can learn a little more about Eddie. All right, Eddie. All right. We want five things about you. Okay. What's your favorite hobby? Fishing. If you had a superpower, what would your superpower be? It would be to read the mind. And why? Because I want to know what the other person's thinking. All right. Favorite food? Barbecue sauce? Yeah. <laughs> one song, if you're on an island, you only got to bring one song, what song would that be? Dang, just one song? I'm on an island? That's hard. Like old school or just anything? You only got one song to listen to. You can't take the earbuds out either. It'd be uh, Dear Mama. I like that one a lot. Dear Mama Tupac? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some bonus questions real quick. Okay. Bonus question. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grow up? Veterinarian. All right. What made you stop wanting to be a veterinarian? Working at PetSmart. Why is that? I learned that. I guess I like the personal dog, like, you know, when you got like hundreds of them, can't do it, I hate them. A strong word. Yeah. You get bit, you get pissed on, dogs throwing up, dying left and right, and you would hate too. What was your first pet name? First pet, first pet name? Yeah. Um, first pet's name, I think it was um, Peter. What kind of pet was it? It was a parakeet. Parakeet? Mm -hmm. Favorite animal? My favorite animal would be. I'd be a dog. I like dogs. They're cool. Alright, so that's Eddie right there. You guys want to know. Stick model!